Namaste. Big Cat Fire Signs, Grand Rising. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology. Big Cat Wave. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 19th of November, the moon in Aquarius squares Uranus in Taurus. A change you wish to bring might, might face a delay causing frustration. However, exercising patience is wiser than reacting impulsively. You also have Phallus, the asteroid of wisdom and knowledge entering Scorpio. In the next few weeks, it becomes easy to discern through the cloud of deception and, and grasp the truth roof in all matters. Utilize Phallus's strength, wisdom and courage to, to confront some uncomfortable facts that will fortify you. On the 20th of November, happy birthday to my oldest progeny, Kenya. <laughs> I had to put it in, darling, dears. Um, on the 20th of November, the moon enters Pisces. Taking quiet time for yourself can aid in obtaining the rest needed for rejuvenation, especially if recent circumstances have limited such moments. You also have the sun in Scorpio, sextile in Pluto, in Capricorn. This alignment is marked by perceptiveness and can assist you in achieving success by motivating you to work diligently and plan your path. Delving into the heart of matters will prove beneficial, seek solutions and make positive transformations. On the 23rd, first, Mars in Scorpio sextiles Pluto in Capricorn. This is an excellent time for work as you'll have the energy, stamina and drive to, to accomplish any task. It's an opportune time for sending out resumes, delivering presentations or even launching your own business. Take advantage of this by focusing, man. <laughs> Focus! Um, on the 22nd, the sun enters Sagittarius. While, while, while the sun is in the sign of the archer. You'll feel energized and ready for adventure. Over the next four weeks, you'll be on a quest, whether it's through travel, returning to school, or engaging in conversations with interesting people. Expand your horizons, explore new activities, visit new places, and meet new people. You also have the moon entering Aries. More energy becomes available, allowing you to enjoy taking action on your desires. This is a time to initiate new beginnings. On the 23rd, the sun in Sagittarius squares Saturn in Pisces. Focusing your energy may prove challenging and you may need some, some time to rest and recharge. This aspect involves a, a lot of work for minimal reward. Shift your focus towards yourself. Make yourself happy. On the 24th, Mars enters Sagittarius. Over the next six weeks, be prepared to take action with the warrior planet in the sign of the archer. It's an excellent time to aim and strive for your dreams, whether it involves travel, education, or seeking the truth roof. Also, Ceres, the asteroid, with the, with the work of the hard work of parenting, something from seed to harvest, enters Sagittarius. This period encourages you to expand your inner horizons. Travelling and learning about different cultures can foster personal growth. Share your experiences with others, as meeting new people can be a valuable source of learning. On the 25th, Mars in Sagittarius squares Saturn in Pisces. Maintaining discipline will be difficult and frustration may arise if progress is slow. Practice patience and be gentle with yourself. 
please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Big cat wave. Ha <laughs> ha! Namaste! Grand Rising Fire Signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. For your next seven days, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, make your way. Let's dive right in, darling dears, and unpack. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, these progenies are something else. You're minding your own business. You, they send you messages as soon as you've got something to do. Well, listen, when I'm in their counted sheep, nobody don't rec remember me, right? <laughs> Let's dive right in, darling dears, and unpack. Send me messages. All the messages. Tell them in the back. Come here and do communicative dance. No more messages. Oh, you have a nine. So something in your life has come to fruition and ending, darling dears. Love it. Don't hate it. The energy of the nine. The numerology of the nine speaks about um a cycle ending. It's also about humanitarianism, darling dear. Mm -hmm. This is about you being selfless, being good to yourself to end the situation. The universal love and all that, peace out. <laughs> the number nine is ruled by Pluto as well as Mars energy, darling dears. So this is um, Scorpio and Aries energy. Mm -hmm. The number nine, so your birthday or a particular date of the 9th, the 18th, or the 27th will be significant for you, darling dears, going forward. Mm -hmm. Significant lucky numbers for you for the next seven days is 3, 6, and 9, darling dears. Love it. Don't hate it. It's about your, your strength, your inner strength, darling dears. We'll see you through any situation. And it also speaks about many people looking up to you. People are watching your gangster. Let them watch, darling. There's someone's got to clap better than the new fist bump. Let's carry on. Mm -hmm. um, the luckiest days for you over the next seven days will be Thursday as well as um, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've also got um, the energy of Mars. The planet Mars, it rules the number nine, darling dears. So Mars energy, lean in bestie. Someone may have an issue around their, um, their, 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 their sex glands, for want of better words. Can't think of anything else, right? Mm -hmm. um, their left ear, um, their muscular system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, come on, Case, think, think. Um, the, the buttocks. Um, the head, the bile. This is also about um, being assertive, using assertion over the next seven days, darling dears. Mars is a cardinal fire energy. So cardinal fire, it means that you have to take action, darling dears. Use your creativities. Open up a new beginning for yourself, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Cardinal sign is the beginning of a season. So this is something new, darling dears. A new direction for you. Maybe a leadership role. Love it. But it's about you, what? Facing your fears and tackling things head on. Why? Because we are big cats. And big cat feel everything can rise. Fist bump again. Mm -hmm. The letters that are important or associated with the number nine, according to the Pythagorean chart of numerology that I use, mm -hmm, is I and R. And the numbers four and eight are to be avoided, darling. There's whatever that means for you. All right. We're going to press on. Mm. Yeah. Let's get your rune stone. Oh, child, just the one. And if you're going to get one, this is a mighty one. This is I was represented by the death card in tarot as well as the letter E. So the letters E, I and R are going to be of some import of to importance to you over the next seven days, darling dears. Mm -hmm. um, Ewas also represents 
Oh, oh my God. The number 19 and the number 13, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. So your lucky numbers will be the 19 and 13 or um, the numbers 3, 6 and 9, as well as the dates. Could be a birthday or the day of the month. Um, 9, 18 and 27 could be a door number. So many messages, darling. Listen, I'm trying to catch everyone's attention here, right? There's something here for everyone. Maybe not all, but some. Mm -hmm. Good golly and gosh, with the death card or death rune on its face, darling. This speaks about disharmony, mm -hmm. mistrust and betrayal. Somebody wants to go in a rinks and repeat. Didn't we just hear new beginnings? <laughs> Using your fortitude to push your way through, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This makes me draw for the dice again, darling dears. Because a nine on the dice speaks about um, an unexpected event. A fortunate event is about... You're about to be blessed with an unexpected event, darling dear, which is going to bring some kind of fortune to you. Fortune comes in many forms, darling dears. It could be health. Because health is your wealth. It could be in a true soul tribe friend, a new job, or maybe it's a new way of being and thinking, darling dear. Because remember, the only cat you are in competition with is the cat you was yesterday, darling dears. Because it's a nine coming to the ending of a cycle, this is about you making plans for going forward. And, um, yeah, letting go what no longer serves you. Mm hmm. The energy of the four and the five talks about a happy surprise, darling dears. So something definitely of a blessing kind of a nature, darling dears, coming towards you over the next seven days. Be prepared for incoming. And how do you do that? Be in expectation mode, darling dears. Be in expectation mode. Where else should you be? The number nine is also represented by the ninth house. The ninth house is about higher learning. So it could be the blessing of higher learning. Um, it's about travel. It's about your philosophical ideas expanding your mind, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The ninth house is also about um, your spiritual beliefs, your religion, your ethics. But it's also about you what listening to your intuition around ninth house, air, ninth house things over the next Seven days, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The ninth house, lean in, bestie, lean in. The ninth house is ruled by um, Jupiter, who also rules Pisces of old. So you're going to get some more letters. Jupiter represents C, G, L, and S. Okay, so you've got C, G, L, S, E, I, and R. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jupiter rules what? Thursday. So th we've already had your lucky days of Sunday and Thursday. So Thursday, listen, put it on in highlight, darling dear. Put it on your almanacs. Thursday, some form of blessing is on its way to you. Remember, I told you that. And when it comes, hit me up in the comments so the other big cats can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Something very happy, uplifting. But it's after leaving situations that no longer serve you. Maybe you've chose to listen to your own mind. Follow your own what? What's it? Love everyone. Trust a few. Paddle your own canoe. Yeah. You're learning to paddle alone, darling dear. Like what? The man from Atlantis. Listen, that's turning back the hands of time. Do you remember that guy? He was um, Bobby. Bobby from um, Dallas. Yeah. He was a, And he used to swim like this. He had his two hands at his side. And he swim like this. Good God, that was a long, th listen, I told you I'm over half a hundred, don't judge me, I just remembered it, but something to do with swimming, maybe somebody's going to achieve some kind of swimming mark, maybe you've learned to swim, or you're actually getting more swimming lessons, but it will be to your fortitude, why, if you're pushed by your intuition to learn something at a stage in your life, learn that bitch, learn that bitch, it could save your life, fist bump, let's carry on, darling dears, yeah, mm-hmm, Love it. Let's see your oracle ancestral message. I touched the African goddess rising first. We're going to go with that. Give it a quick shifty. Wake it up and see what your ancestors want you to know. 9.22 on the counter. Mm -hmm. Go and check that angel number out. Is a message for you, darling dears. Love it. Message for my fire signs for the next seven days. Message or massages. Mm -hmm. 
surrender to the process and what does that usually come into surrender the nine darling dears when something has come um come to fruition it means you've attained something and nine meaning is also surrender darling dears love it it's on the energy of a 44 so 44 is what a master healer it's about your using your integrity as your foundation and your geiger counter over the next seven days mm -hmm. it also speaks about you being in what um uh, manifestation and leadership mode member told you that you are being congratulated this is an opening darling dear there's a doorway but well, you're going to have lots of opportunities that you're going to have to select darling dears choose wisely listen to your intuition mm -hmm. love it surrender everything is around the number nine so far what's this a sacred lust Someone's lusting after you, darling dears. It better listen. Some of them need to hold Jesus and Buddha's hand, and even then, you've paid your knees. It's unfortunate. It's not going down, Bobby Brown, unless they're a necrophiliac. They like the dead bodies, or I don't know, blood. Everything else is just themes of war. Huh, nah. Mm hmm. But for others, this is a sacred union, darling dears. Mm hmm. Love it, high priestess energy. But you're between two people. Right, or two acolytes of um, somebody worshipping this goddess, darling dears. The high priestess speaks again about you listening to your intuition and the female genitalia, maybe gestation, but there's some there's some talk around some okay. Somebody's lying about a pregnancy that never was, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Message for someone. Okay. Yeah, she's between two people, two pillars, Boaz and Jashin, for what? Completion and beginning again. It's about the number nine. We're on a 26. The two and the six goes to an eight, and eight is the number of infinity, but it's mastery, right? You've accomplished something, and it's also the number of what? Skrilla. Dot com. Money, blood. The folding stuff. The dosh. The wonga. Coming in, darling, dear. Infinite. Something that was slow, but you had to master something about yourself in order to call it in. And what? Surrender to the process, knowing that you've done the hard work. You've been dedicated, darling, dears. And a what? Love tap from the universe. But there's, the, it was in reverse. Personal people that, that didn't want you to change or haven't changed. They're going on an opinion. And opinions are like our souls. Some are what? Loose and flatulent, darling, dear. Loose and flatulent. Embarrass you in public. Mm -hmm. Love it. Make sure you can still see everything. Well, go on. Right. Face of your deck. You've got what? Scarcity. Scarcity. This means less. It means lack. But it could also mean what? Removing yourself from a situation. 21 is world card in tarot, darling, dears. Um, the earth world, I said the earth, the world card is earth and Saturn, as well as the fixed signs of Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius. So the message in that being a fixed sign divine wants you to continue to be, um, persistent because you are about to be respected in something that you've tackled slowly, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Fixed signs are middle of the season. So somebody, oh, they don't realize that you don't realize that you're on the cusp of a major breakthrough, darling. There's something that you've toiled hard towards, whatever that is in your paradigm. A personal reading will help you get on the good foot. Hit me up in the Gmail. But anyway, I digress. Through scarcity could also be scarcity of your presence, darling. There's law 16 of the 48 laws of power not to be played with. But in saying that, law number 18, full and Full on isolation is dangerous. You still have to keep your, your paw on the button, darling. Is your paw, cat, cat, paw, get it? Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Still have an ear to the ground somewhat, darling. Dears. Okay, let's get a deck and press on even more. There they send me another. Listen, I need to tell them fee five four farm. Stop messaging me. Right, I want to be taken out of the group chat. <laughs> How about that? I want to come out of the group chat. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get a deck and carry on. I'm going to use the reverse tarot because it's got pictures on both sides of the cards. I haven't used this in a while. So there's no need to reverse any because they come out how they want. You have to shuffle them a little differently. Okay, 
face of your deck, darling dear. A fool, somebody who's not taken a leap of faith. This is fool, you someone on the rings and repeat. Their life is going down, Bobby Brown, and they'd like you to be in that handbasket with them. Where's the handbasket going? Past the sign that says you can't F off past this point. Yeah, face of the deck. We've got larded, larded. These personal people are extremely disloyal to you, Queen of Cups with her back turned. Wood child. This could be a mother, a sister. It could also speak about someone who chose to leave a long-term situation, whether it's a marriage. Look, as I say, look, lover's card. It's the truth roof. Pinky's up. Someone chose to be disloyal to a situation, my fire sign. And it's not fabulous for them at this moment in time. Yeah, now they want to come back and work with you. I'm very rarely am I struck to silence, but it gave me silence moves, man. Revelations 2.20. Shall I do it again? Yeah, Revelations 2.20. They're a Jezebel spirit. What do they want? What do they want? Look, world card. World card. Right, cap that she's naive, darling dears. They've been watching you on the web. They've been watching you build. Possibly solo dolo. Maybe you become a master craft person in your field. We already had the energy of the nine. Fruition, this is attainment, right? Come in fulfillment because you surrendered to your processes. Base of the deck. Someone who doesn't have control of you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The way this back is turned, this is someone that turned their back on you in the darkest hour. Yeah, Queen of Wands. What did I just say? Back to Jezebel's spirit. Good golly and gosh. Two queens on the tablet tells us the gossiping gossipers, the merchants of slander, haven't forgotten about you, darling dears. Look at this shiz naive. Talk about bitter about what you've got going on. These are what? Listen, someone or someone's that hurt you, darling dears. But you are the wounded warrior. Mm-hmm. We've got two nines on the tableau, bestie. This speaks about what? It was a minor game when they hurt you. It was minor. Minor. Because who wants who back now? Who wants to break back into your situation at this stage of the game? How now, brown cow? Mm -mm. This is a new beginning, darling dears. This is a lot of pain, but it's also a lot of consideration. You was in an environment where there was a lot of jealousy. Can you see the, ul the orange is bleeding out? You wasn't able to be your confident, creative self in that situation. For others, it affected your 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 sex drive, darling dears. How you saw yourself. Mm -hmm. When you're amongst the unhappy and the unlucky, law number 10 of the 48 laws of power, you're bound to be what? Tarred by the same brush. This bitter, jealous person, all they can do is talk about you. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for you, they wouldn't get up in the morning. Three of cups. Yeah, they'd like to offer up to you, darling dears. But look, the other, listen, it's just information they're looking, right? The same way they look to you like Easter Island and Stevie Wonder when you was going for your darkest time. Star, star card in the upright, darling dears. It speaks about you healing from a city. Nah, you was going for it, mate. Right? Didn't even know there was a rose of a new beginning at your back, blood. Yeah! They stood and watched you, was waiting for you to fold and fade. They liked when you was barking at passing cars, dressing like Quasimodo's bestie in them streets. And they would have loved it if you was dribbling and colouring in a corner somewhere. Mm-hmm. You're an earth angel, but it also speaks about patience. Because what you truly deserve is being attracted into your life. Queen of Swords, this is about you using your logic, darling dear, as well as your words. Be obstreperous, deep-seated in obstrepery. What else can my fire signs expect over the next week? Oh, if it's on the floor, then it's coming through the door, darling dears. We've got the six of pentacles. This is a blessing from heaven, darling dear. It could be a new home and a move to a new GPS. But it also speaks about, I see a church first time. Somebody may be getting engaged, but it's about equal reciprocation, darling dear. At the top, we've got the king of wands with the back turned. This is someone who's a lying liar. Someone who's in, a, in, a, in an authoritative status, darling dears. They're about to be unmasked, king of cups. You already intuitively knew. That this about that this person was a wrong one. They weren't righted. Mm -hmm. You're about to leave someone out in the cold. And when you leave them out in the cold, you went from the six to the five. You've done the final countdown, blood. The final countdown. You took the time to what? Drop down and get your eagle on. Mm -hmm. All right. What else is going on? What about your finances? 
I said finances, we've got the four of swords, darling dears. Somebody needs to take a closer look at their finances, darling dears. Do better financial planning. There's no point spending money if you're not looking to see if the well has run dry. Use your intuition and discernment, darling dears. Don't keep it a secret and don't hide from it. This is also about you paying your taxes. But don't hide, make it into what? A mountain when it's a molehill. Somebody needs to look at their finances as well as their health over the next seven days. Yeah, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Because if you don't, darling dear, Knight of Cups in the reverse, this is going down. This is your intuition. This is your, your mental stability. But it's also somebody looking at relationships that no longer serve them and cutting them out. Yeah, you're going to be a missed opportunity for something. You're so long gone, darling dear. They need to stop talking about you because you're coming in like, like Kaiser Soze. Everybody hears of you, but no one's seen you without the chelation, of course. Pinkies up. Yeah, back turned to everything. Look at this, Knight of Wands. You don't want to be around fickle energy. And it's also a reminder not to play with your health. Somebody needs to go and look at their health. And it also speaks about mental health, darling. There's in a relationship setting that caused you a lot, extreme, extreme pain. But you have to remember, you would not be at the point where you're at fruition, about to begin, instigate a new beginning. One which is divinely protected and guided, darling dears. A new beginning and possibly meeting your soulmate. Your true, well, we have many soulmates in life. I should say a true divinely guided partner. Mm -hmm. Whether what, romantical, platonical or business wise, darling dears. Yeah, but I haven't seen any pentacales out. Where's the pentacales? What's going on? about the money somebody needs to have a better deeper look at their finances finance look look again somebody needs to look at their finances properly there is a blessing coming darling dear but you don't want to get the blessing and not know how to manage money you have to see things from a different perspective because that money will be gone as quick as it comes in darling dear eight of pentacles as i said Take a closer look at your finances so that you don't end up in what? Unhappy town. Mud hut season, darling, dear. Yeah, because you won't get any help because the position that you've achieved has created a lot of jealousy, envy and hate, darling, dear. Jealousy, envy and hate. But this is a new you, darling, dear. You couldn't... You, you, let them give it to you with communicative dance. That's how much you give. You couldn't give a toss. Mm. Look at your finances and your health. That should be at the forefront of your mind over the next seven days. What about relationships? We already spoke about a divinely guided partner plus a hoodwinker. Yeah. You was in situations in the past where there was no patience with your darling dears, with narcissist emperor in the reverse. If you're co-parenting with this person, they haven't got no patience with the progeny darling dears. This is the what? Um, The knight of, uh, the page of cups, excuse me, civil play. Yeah, a liar, right? Always giving the progeny empty promises. Wow. Pardon me. Somebody's also going to be leaving a job, darling dears. And this is not going to be like I'm handing in my notice. No, they're going to leave the job with a fanfare. They're going to tell this emperor, the boss, who it is, what, what time it is, right? They're going to give them the benefit of what? Obstreperry and be obstreperous. Noisy and difficult to handle. Leaving a situation, but stronger for it, darling dears. You're not taking back any chat, darling dear. And look, we've got the Four of Swords in the upright. Yeah, more in control because this is going to ease you mentally, spiritually. But it's definitely the letting go of a situation that has tried your patience, darling dear. Worked on your hairline, your edges, which are very important. Trust me, when you ain't got them, you'll know. I'm not talking about the people that like to shave them off. That's different when they leave of their own accord. No, 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 nobody wants that smoke. No, no, you don't want that smoke. Anything major that the big cats need to know. The wicked darling dears, people that don't wish you well, negative words being directed at you. But it's being directed at people that are under judgment, darling dears. People that would love to come back into your life and have one more round. Julie! With your finances, your your soul, something that you shouldn't play with, right? Your mental health, yeah, and maybe even your panani off a dome. Somebody wants a second chance. But this is a new beginning for you. You better choose wisely, darling dears. 
Turn your shapely back, law 16, and leave them where they are. This is not taking up past situations or arguments, darling dears. Divine has gifted you with what? The biggest pentacle of them all, a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. I was just asking where your Skrilla is, and here it's turned up. It's turned up in your fortitude. This blessing is going to come in on the back of a temptation to go back to a situation that no, you've outgrown it, darling dears. Or it's a situation that is going to arise which is similar to what you've overcome, darling dears. Don't be tempted to go backwards because you'll be you'll be sorry, mate. You'll be sorry, five of pentacles. You'll be you'll be sorry. You'll be sad. And you'll be back. Hey, hey, yeah, you don't want to be around where there's too much energy. It's wasteful people, darling dear. Low vibe in nine of pentacles in the reverse. We've got what? Um, a full moon. This is your harvest season. The, the intentions that you've set at previous moons, darling dears, you're about to harvest them, but you're about to be tempted over the next seven days, darling dears. Don't give in to the temptation. What's the point of having immediate gratification for something that is going to be long term and will be for a blessing to your eternal soul? Listen, I've got to keep it real. Mm -hmm. Split the deck. I can't make it up creating generational wealth. True loyalty is on the way, but you have to, you're going to have to what? Overcome this, this final countdown, final chapter, final temptation, darling dears. Yeah. What is the biggest opportunity for my fire signs over the next seven days? Biggest opportunity? Biggest opportunity for the fire signs? Mm -hmm. Single and independent, listening to your own mind. We now have the nine of pentacles in the upright. A new beginning. Realize you can, you can fertilize your own grass. It's where your focus and your attention goes. It grows. You're focusing on your higher mind. Focus on what you can create. And it's also about being grateful for what you have created, darling dears. Some of you by the sweat of your proverbial balls, darling dears. You had to work. Listen. You have to do all of this new creation without little help. As they watch, many people turn their back on you. So this is a reminder to, for you, darling dears, to remember who put you in that position, who watched, darling dear, and who was what? Merchants of slander. Run, in, run tell that, darling dear, of your misfortune. Remember those people. Be like that elephant in India. Who what? Who mark, who, listen, the elephant murked the lady twice, once at the waterhole and then dragged her body off the prior and murked her again in front of her family. Trauma, they're all traumatized. Sat there and said, fair, fair. Yeah, seeing if anyone was going to bust and move on it. And then it went, called in its, it, its elephant brethren, darling, just went to only that woman's house and broke it down. Listen, nobody can beef like an elephant, why? Because then don't forget a bloody thing. You might not remember how, what someone did, but you always remember how it made you feel. Memory of an elephant, yeah? Yeah. All right. Wishing you well, my besties. Final advice, take this leap of faith. This new beginning is for you, darling dears. You're now getting the fall in the upright. Take the leap of faith. New beginning, the fall is the zero. So it's like you get in the tree of life, but you're, you've got your 2020 on, darling dears. Yeah, maybe something insignificant in 2020 happened for you. Mm -hmm. You're getting Latin in this bitch with what? Vini, Vidi and VC. What's that? You came, you saw and you've conquered. You conquered what's behind you. Let them watch you, darling dear. Let them watch you pack light and win a new beginning. You also have an older partner of somebody with an age difference approaching you. But it's deservant. It's what you called in. You had what? Faith the size of a mustard. You've seen how small a mustard seed is. You took a leap of faith in a different direction and it's about to pay off for you. Let's get a final message. Then we're out of here to get great. I'm going to use the Egyptian, Egyptian Oracle deck. Yeah, whoever this wicked person, they can't come back, blood. And that's the truth, Ruth. For some, it was a deep friendship, a lover. It was a connection. But you have to be the king of swords in that bitch, right? Realize what was going on, queen of pentacles, and, and take back your everything. Manifestation mode, darling dears. Your everything. Final message to the fire signs. And take the one that touched me. Listen, I can't make it up. Prosperity is on its way. Remember I told you that. And when you get it, shut up. Tell no one nothing. 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 And it's justice. 
Justice is a karma card, darling dears. You're getting your just desserts, Queen of Pentacle. Remember, gender is fluid, whether you're male or female. You manifested this because you understood the assignment, King of Swords. On that note, I drops me mic. For the love to my Teesprings, my patrons, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. If you'd like a personal read from me, please hit me up in the Gmail. All of my intel is in the description box below. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Aries. Leo. Until we meet again on these tarot streets, cat cat.